Hi, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Beacon. I'm your host, Haley Dutton. After years of playing home games anywhere but on campus, UMass Boston Baseball is eager for the opening of Monin Park. With construction almost nearly complete, we were able to catch up with head coach Brandon Igerbrot and Captain Anthony Searles for what it's going to be like to finally have an on-campus facility. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, obviously very uh, excited and very grateful for, for getting a brand new facility built. It's definitely been a, uh, a labor of love. Uh, we've got a lot of support um, from across campus to get the funding to build this. And, um, you know, with the chancellor and, and the vice chancellor really pushing for this facility, it's finally come to fruition and it's well worth the wait. It's going to be um, one of the nicest fields in all of New England. Uh, I think it's a field that we can be proud of. Uh, and it's going to be a, a great playing facility. And I think from, a, you know, coming from, you know, my first couple of years, just going onto any field that was open when teams were away, um, begging to use fields or, or playing out in Waltham at Yetton Field and then kind of moving up to Campanelli, which was a great home facility for the last four to five years. Um, it'll just be great to have that that true home field advantage. That's something we've never been able to practice on the field that we've played our games on. Um, so you really miss out on that. And I think it's, uh, it's uh, going to give the program a great sense of pride. I think player development wise, you know, having a turf field will be able to get out on it earlier in the season, um, which gives you more reps and should hopefully lead to um, some very good results on the field. Uh, Brockton was a great stadium to play at, first of all, but I think the home stadium is really going to help us, especially being so close to campus. A lot of guys can get a lot of extra swings. We don't have to wait for the gym to be open. And with the cage here, it'll be very nice, especially with two fields. We can have everyone split up. We can have pitchers go on one field, hitters go on another, and we'll be able, we'll be able to do uh, a lot of things and get everyone ready. Uh, we check it every day. As soon as it started going up, everyone checks it, going to class, coming from class to see how it's been going. A lot of guys have been pumped with the, the practice field being almost done. A lot of guys have been wanting to get on it, and it's, it's been a very big motivator for us. Yeah, I mean, I think it was really a smart decision to go with the Fenway Park design. You're talking about the most historic um, field in, in all of baseball, and we have that on our campus now. You know, we got a green monster, we got the triangle in center field, you got the bullpens in right. Um, so it's going to be an outstanding place to play. I think, um, you know, for spectators, you know, the seating is top notch. We got a great press box for our outstanding sports information staff. So I think it just, um, it's going to be an outstanding, outstanding facility. So I'm, I'm happy we went with that Fenway design. Um, I think it's going to be, again, it's going to give us a home field advantage because you're going to have a quirky outfield, you know, with the Pesky's pole and the triangle, the monster. Um, so that should really give us an advantage, um, you know, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Energy. I think it's going to bring a lot of energy to the team. It's going to make Guana guys do a lot more, hit a lot more, and be a lot better than, uh, than we, that we know we can be. Yeah, I think it's going to be awesome with the mini Fenway. I think it's going to attract a lot of, a lot of guys to come in and want to play and actually a lot of fans because with the field being so far away, we didn't have a lot of fans at Brockton, but I think it's going to be awesome. Right on campus, there's going to be a lot of people coming over from apartments and watching the game, and it's going to bring a lot of energy to the team. Over the years, we've always been extremely aggressive with our recruiting, and we've always been able to identify, uh, I think, some very strong uh, student athletes. I think this um, is going to tip the scales. I mean, we've had, I think we already to date have 10 committed players for next year, um, and all very um, talented, very capable student athletes. So it's been a great, great. Um, push on the recruiting side of things. I think anytime recruits see a new facility, they know you're invested in the program. They know the university is backing you. Um, and the school itself, I mean, it, it's there's a lot of really positive change going on with new academic buildings, new, you know, new baseball facilities. So it's a great time to be a Beacon. The Beacons are scheduled for 18 home games this spring with their season opener on March 5th at noon against LaSalle College. For more information about UMass Boston Baseball, Check them out on Instagram at Beacon Baseball and Twitter at Beacons Baseball. Thanks for watching. I'm Haley Dutton.